Oh, yes, sir. You know, those guys have, you know, a lot of potential. You know, uh, Russell going off his athletic system, you know, in, in his first year playing receiver, I, I feel that he's going to do very great. You know, he's, he spends a lot of his time at the football lives building, you know, preparing himself and, and transforming himself into the receiver that we will need it, uh, this year. And, you know, going off of Terrence, he's our leader. And, uh, you know, the, the senior caliber of the, or the receiving core. And, you know, I expect a lot from him. And he knows that, you know, the desire for us to have this passing game and for us to win is going to have to rely on him to lead those receivers. If you ever talk you talked about the emphasis on the running game. Um, can you describe as an SEC quarterback the difference between third and eight and third and four? Um, you know, every inch counts, you know. Um, being like a third and eight situation is very tough, you know, with the SEC because of the, um, you know, the speed on the defense, you know, the scheme, the defensive schemes that they have. You know, a lot of teams in the SEC like to blitz on third down. And some teams, you know, uh, blitz packages are very strong. So, you know, it, it's very difficult in the SEC to, you know, convert third downs and whenever you do, you know, that's that's when everything starts clicking once you convert like a third down and keep the chains moving. That's was very important for us and a lot of teams in the SEC. Jordan, uh, did you ever speak with Chris Garrett about why he left and maybe his future plans? Nah, I, I really don't understand the, the situation uh, with Chris. Uh, one day he was there and the next day he was gone. But, um, you know, he was a great guy and he was a great quarterback. And, you know, wherever he transferred, I feel – that he would be granted the opportunity to be their starter one of these days. So people giving y'all enough preseason respect. I mean, you hear about Alabama, Florida separate, and usually y'all are mentioned with us too. Um, you know, we deserve for uh, you know the predictions that we have. You know, going off of you know our season last year and you know some of the things that we lacked in and our uh, new starters, but um. No, I, I really feel that the projections would change. You know, at the at the end of the year, we have a team goal, and you know, we want to be the number one team. So, you know, we're going to do everything that we can. We're going to put everything on the line to fulfill our goal. Jordan, what did you see when you went back and looked at film of your performance in the spring game? Uh, I mean, the numbers weren't very good. Uh, it looked like you, you struggled with some throws. What did you see, and what did you try to do with that? Um. It was it was a concern for me because you know the stats weren't good, but we were also working with only four receivers that were working both teams. So I mean our timing was off, but but now you know once the guys are fresh, and you know I just feel that our timing is is like you know first nature. You know um, I know where the guy's going to be. Our timing is right. You know but um, now I I, I kind of look back at the spring game and I and I wondered. You know what it would have been if I'd had a better spring game, but you know that's not something I can really focus on. You know I'm just ready to take whatever I didn't do in the spring and, and put it into this you know fall camp, and uh, you know we should have a great turnout. Was your spring was just more of the game, Jordan? Was it the sort of the spring as a whole? No, it, it was it was just a game. You know uh, we we asked for those receivers to do a lot for them to work both teams. And run 100%. That's that's kind of a lot, you know, for a receiver and to run the whole game. But um, you know, other than that, I had a great spring. You know, um, I think I I ended the spring with about 25, 28 touchdowns. You know, it was I had a great spring. But you know, just the, the spring game, what kind of affected my spring performance. But um, you know, I, I take ownership for that. You know, I didn't. I didn't really have a great spring game, and I understand that. But you know, I'm gonna make sure that I go into the fall, you know, being the leader that I should be, and making sure that I lead these guys going into the season. You think that's why some people said that maybe you didn't sort of take that job? Yes, sir. Because of that, like, that last impression, that spring game. You think yes, that's sir. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, it, it probably could have been, you know, very different if I would have had a, a better spring game, which I could have. You know, but the timing was up with me and the receivers. You talked about taking ownership last year when y'all were having struggles. You you kind of admitted that at times you were holding on to the ball too long or hesitant to make decisions that, that might put y'all in hot water. How do things change this year? Are you, are you looking to become more of a playmaker or is it and what's the approach? Um, 
you know, just as the quarterback on the team, when, when whenever things get tough, you know, it's always on the quarterback, you know, and, and, and I take that. But, um, you know, you know, just studying film and analyzing myself and, you know, uh, being familiar with the playbook and studying our offense, you know, I feel that, you know, we should decline in sacks. And, you know, the, the amount of confidence that I have in my old line should, should really give me enough time to, you know, feed my receivers with the ball. What have the last six months been like in terms of study off the, off the field? You talk about going over film, knowing the playbook. Uh, you know, what's your preparation been like? Um, very productive. You know, uh, sometimes I sit at home by myself and, and I watch North Carolina. And I, and I watch each player as an individual and I, and I see the qualities that they have for their team. And, uh, you know, you know, a, a college athletes should really cherish the opportunity that they have over the summer, you know, to get time to yourself and, and work on what you lacked in in the past season and make sure you're very prepared this season. Jordan, Coach keeps talking about, you know, improving the running game. You did it in the spring. In your mind, is that what opens up the rest of the offense? Well, yes, sir. You know, uh, every great offense has a has a running game. And, uh, you know, I, I feel our running backs and our O-line are really focusing on, you know, making sure that we have the yardage that we have for our offense in the running, in the running game area. So, but, uh, you know, those guys are doing, you know, the best they can to prepare themselves for all situations, you know, in in a blitz situation on the run, you know, make the running back making a cut or making that block, that second block to, you know, break a play for us. And the offensive line more prepared this year too. Oh, yes, think? sir. You know, those, those guys have been studying film just like me, uh, working every day just like I have been. You know, it's it's a lot that those guys been working on to make sure, you know, that they in shape and they stay focused and you know they hold their blocks for a lot longer that they've been working on, you know, to help us out to some. Uh, yeah. Do you know what you're looking for on film? Do you know how to watch film? Did you have to be taught how to, what to look at on reads on the defensive backs and things like that? Um, no, I was taught that, you know, uh, in my freshman year. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, Coach Crow sat down. You know, we, we do this every day. You know, sat down. And, Tell us to look how the safeties are shifting, or how their safety is alignment, you know, a linebacker's alignment in certain coverages. You know, uh, you know, we sat down and, and talked to that. Now it's just repetition. Now, just sitting down, and every time I look at it, I'm looking for this, this, and this. You know, it's, it's just basically, you know, firsthand nature for me because I have been doing it for a long time.